Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 12.30 here in Dhaka right now. About 12.25. Let's just call it midnight, past midnight. Um, I almost forgot about this uh, particular list that I'm supposed to do for last few stressful days. A lot of things are kind of blurry. But one of my dearest friends, uh, Shafi Bhai, he sort of like is my best friend in Bangladesh in fragrance community as well as in the country. And then he's admin of our group and fellow YouTube reviewer. So he called me up. Uh, he said, brother, when are you going to do your Valentine's Day list? You should do it early. Otherwise, it was the point. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do that. So here we go. February, month of uh, Valentine's Day, 14th February. You guys know that. And it's about like, you know, uh, winter is supposed to go almost, but this still remains a little bit cool. So I'm going to pick up 12 fragrances, not 10, 12 fragrances for you guys, uh, you, which I would suggest you can wear for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is about nice outing. You dress up to impress him or her, you know, whatever your case is. You go to a nice place to have dinner, perhaps three course meal with a lot of sweets, chocolates, you know, mousse, you know, these kind of things and then gifts, right? So you can, if you're watching this as a lady, you can gift it to your man. He'll be very happy if he's into fragrances and I'll be just doing only the one video. Tomorrow I'm going to have a dentist appointment because I have a uh, problem in one of my tooth so i'll be doing only one video tonight so here we go uh, basically these are mostly sweet perfumes in bangladesh the weather is still okay but if your weather is a little bit different you can still wear these on the special day because different kind of sweet fragrances and one last thing uh, disclaimer that is i have picked up some unusual ones not obvious suspects like uh, usual suspects like you'll see a lot of these big players from my list of previous years are gone it's not that they are going to be never back but just want to show you some other alternatives and some of the known ones as well so i kind of mixed it up so all the best first fragrance i'm going to show you from ranking number 12 i'm going to go with the fragrance called rasasis enteba okay i'm not going to spray any of them today because i know them by heart now this is one of the sweeter uh, rasasi perfumes which has excellent longevity it has a champagne accord and it's supposedly a clone of great silver mountain water but this is actually much more uh, modern and I would say this is a much more uh, affordable, definitely. Uh, very crowd pleaser, sort of compliment garner. It will project a lot. So Rasa's Enteba, check out my review on this. This is beautiful fragrance. I think it will fit this Valentine's Day perfectly. Number 11. I picked up this fragrance this early this year. I wanted it for a very long time and I'm very happy to add this in this list. Even though it should perhaps be higher in the list, but it's Today is just, you know, just ranking for fun, but all these fragrances are good. So this is from House of Perialis, and this is Oud. Uh, Perialis Oud, Black Vanilla Absolute, okay? I'm still getting used to the name. It's quite a long name. This fragrance has three in the lineup. I think Oud, and then they have a Saffron, and I think Vanilla. There are like three. I forgot the other one. Saffron, and other, I forgot the other one. But, oh, there's a Vetiver, green one. But this one, I think, is the best from this line because of the smell. It looks like a Tom Ford bottle from far, isn't it? This basically is a very, very expensive smelling fragrance, very long lasting as well. And the thing is, it's very wearable oud for me. The vanilla mainly pops, a little bit booziness. Amazing fragrance to wear in this kind of weather. Definitely will get you compliment, very underrated. Okay, very well done fragrance from Perilis. It's a niche quality juice, in my humble opinion. I think there's a fragrance called Spiritus de Bovini from Guerlain, which is $300, $400. Uh, don't do that. Get this one instead. Okay, Perilis oud, black vanilla, absolute number Okay, uh, some number 11. I'm sorry about the messy hair. I just took a shower and, uh, you know, I want to keep this look, you know, like red, the color of Valentine's, you know, a little bit. Uh, I usually just a small pause. I don't like to go out in Valentine's Day. You know, the reason being it's city is crowded. Absolutely nowhere you'll get reservation sitting. I mean, we go usually the day before or the next day. Uh, but I really like people dressing up. Mostly ladies wear saris to impress. You know, they look really lovely with the flower and, you know, our tradition. But uh, I actually do not dress red <laughs> for Valentine's. Those days are gone. OK, so back to the list. I'll try to finish this quickly. Number 10, one of my favorites, Pakorab on 1 million. Lucky. And this is a lucky fragrance to get definite compliments this fragrance has this sweet caramel popcorn sort of kind of salty freshy vibe as well this is one of the best complimented fragrances until now in my humble opinion in my journey i could have shown you the preview one but preview one a little bit serious if you're a little bit mature you can go for that but in general 20s to 30s at this you know this crowd basically they love to go out this fragrance will definitely pick up compliments and project a lot in breezy uh, evening or afternoon. Pakarabon, 1 million. Lucky. Check out my review on that one. Next one. And I think I 
picked only one niche fragrance in this list. We'll see. Uh, next one is a fragrance. Many people complain. You always show that other one from Azaro. You never show this. How come you don't like it? We love this a lot. Today I'm showing it over my favorite one. My favorite one is not this one, but I still think it's very good. This is Azaro's Wanted by Night. This basically is a flanker to Wanted. Wanted is a very nice, sweet, fresh perfume, tropical kind of fruity long lasting but this is longer lasting and this one is kind of like spicy safe sweet perfume with tobacco hint okay it's not a total tobacco based perfume in my humble opinion it's more just sweet and it's just a very easy wear very long lasting uh, very nice fragrance but i prefer the azaro's most wanted over this but i think this is a better performer and more known and more available so try it out azaro's wanted by night that's number nine number eight Theory Mugler, pure respect. I have picked one Theory Mugler here today. I tried to pick like one fragrance from each house, okay? And this fragrance made this list because it's called Pure Tonka. And when I say because it's Pure Tonka, this is the most beast mode, sweet, spicy Tonka fragrance. Very simple, doesn't change that much. But this perfume gets noticed everywhere, absolutely massive. Sometimes I get headache from it, but colder months, definitely you can wear this Pure Tonka. I picked this over Pure Malt and Pure Heaven this year. That's number eight. Number seven. This is a fragrance, odd one. Not everybody will show you. Uh, this fragrance, I think, is one of the most underrated fragrances. I was going to put Moschino Boy Toy, but I picked this another uh, kind of a uh, funny name and funny bottle. That is Karina Herrera, Bad Boy Le Parfum. Okay. This is the darker bottle. They have quite a few now, but this actually is a different level. Grapefruit, and I think there's a cannabis note, the green leafy note. And it has really good sweetness, very good longevity. It even lasts more than uh, Toy Boy by Moschino. Both are very interesting. Both are good choices, but this fragrance definitely will be huge. If you're a player, if you're not player, if you're like kind of like a playboy sort of like playful kind of guy and you are very funny and you have this charisma, you know, you are the leather jacket bad boy, I would say try this out, okay? Karina Herrera, and this is called Bad Boy Le Parfum. Check out my review. Amazing fragrance. Okay, so number six, and then we go top five. Number six is one of my favorite, hands down. Sweet trend goes on. Salvatore Ferragamo, Vumo, the originator. Um, this fragrance, if you don't have it, you need to get it. It's incredible. If you are chasing Stronger With You, absolutely, which I have. If you're chasing some of the sweet ones, they are very expensive, Armani's. This fragrance actually does the same thing, and it does have the same effect. Basically, it's the same quality for half the price. I'm just saying the truth, you know, like I do fragrance reviews and I can tell you when I wear something, I see the experiences. This fragrance, tiramisu in a bottle, even if you do not get tiramisu, this fragrance will really make you happy because it's very sweet and it's very beast mode, okay? So Salvatore Ferragamo's gem, Salvatore Ferragamo Vomo, that's number six. So top five, uh, let me just say a little bit of top five, how I selected them. I basically chosen the 12 and I put them in random order. Then I realized, you know, if I don't put like a, what you call a rating, people feel a little bit bored. Everything is good. What's number one? You know, we have to have ranking. So that's how I put it. But all these fragrances are really good. So top five are some of the best fragrances in my arsenal. And I brought back one from past because I really loving this, that fragrance right now. Okay, I'll show you in a bit. Number five, House of Givenchy. Givenchy, gentlemen, and I think this fragrance, I always forget, uh, Boise, that's the name. I have quite a few. I have the whole line. There's a new one coming out. I really want to try that. The reserve, what's that called? I forgot that dark brown juice. But so far, all of them are good. This is special. And I keep praising it. If you actually love, side by side, I show you its cousin. If you ever love CH Man Privé, which I'm not showing this year, perfect Valentine's Day scent. If you ever loved it, but you find it a little bit, I would say... Uh, like well known now too uh, familiar try this one out this is much more modernized it has that iris also i feel has that boozy kind of sweet spicy vibe which makes it very very appealing i love this perfume the most in this line in terms of smell uh really really good fragrance okay a little bit more money you need to pay but worth every penny Givenchy gentlemen boise number four okay i absolutely am very happy i put this fragrance in this list today and this is one of my signature scents uh, not many reviewers will show this today. Uh, it's got discontinued, but I'll always have this fragrance with me. Uh, so many, so many memories. You know, I love Ultra Male, which is a great fragrance, but sadly reformulated. And I have Bad Boy. Sorry, I have um, 
Lamal Le Parfum. I have quite a few ones, but this is the fragrance I really think is better deal because it's so still, it's still so uh, affordable. This is House of Calvin Klein, CK reveal for him. If you never smell this perfume, okay? If you never smell this fragrance, if you never tried it, okay? If you have a sweet tooth like me, if you like the rest of this fragrance, this is the king of sweet fragrances, okay? This has amazing uniqueness, longevity. It has uh, agave, it has booziness, it has... Man, it, the sweetness of this fragrance is just unbelievable. Just the bottle is kind of fingerprint magnet, but higher up in the list. CK Reveal, perfect Valentine's Day fragrance. Now, next is a fragrance. Um, I bought a uh, backup bottle this year. I'm using this, finishing up the old bottle. And I think this fragrance, it actually deserves a lot more recognition now. Someone should talk about this because this fragrance is huge. This is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection till date. There's another one from House of Bulgari, similar to this. I'll show you that in a bit. I'll talk about that. But this is Victor and Ralph Spice Bomb, the originator. As you can understand, my bottle is reaching about, what, 15, 20 mils now. I have a full 100 or 90 mil backup of this, okay? I think 90 mil or 100, I forgot. Anyway, so this basically has that pepper, pink pepper, spices, sweet notes. And it has uh, tobacco. Every time, let me just do one quick burst. And this one has the beautiful stopper, which I really like. These bottles are really beautiful, you know, like these are collector's item. Sometimes you may get into a little bit trouble in the airport, perhaps. <laughs> Just joking, you won't. Man, absolute love. If actually you love the whole Spice Bomb, I have a couple of other ones, fresh one, extreme one. And I did review, uh, <clears throat> I have the night vision and I did the uh, night vision. The red one is what? Uh, ultraviolet, ultra red, I forgot. But this one is the originator of all that. If you actually want to be playful, and nowadays nobody wears it, it will make you super, super, I think, unique, okay? So this year I'm showing you Victoron Spice Bomb. If you cannot find it, if you find it a bit too expensive, try Bulgari's Man in Black, equally good. I love that as well. But this today, I'll show you here, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Amazing fragrance. Number two, <clears throat> this is the only niche fragrance, which is an affordable side with, within $100. Uh, this fragrance will get you a lot of attention, okay? Why I say that? It's super sweet. It's super loud. It's super fun. And it has lasting power. It has staying power, okay? Um, I thought of like any menser. I was going to go with Wild Cherry, which I got recent times, which I'll re-review. But I picked this one over that. That one is Oud Lemon Mint. It's a known one. Now it's not a brand new one. Everybody knows this. This is the new formulation with the magnetic top. Still is amazing, Okay. Uh, this fragrance is built for this kind of affair. Sweet, New Year's, uh, Valentine's Day, you know, even if you have uh, Halloween. This fragrance goes so well. And it has great freshness with sweetness, okay? Mint, lemon, candied vibe. And the oud is not like oud, skanky oud, anything like it. One of the most versatile fragrances in House of Mansera. This is Mansera's Oud Lemon Mint. Try it out, number two. Leads me to number one. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just uh, did that right in your ears. I'm sorry about that. So sorry. I actually have massive love for this perfume. This is one of my first uh, 50 fragrances, you know. I think rather 50 or 20 fragrances. I bought this and I smelled it. I fell in love, you know, head over heels for this over La Nuit de Lomme. I smell La Nuit de Lomme. I smelled, I think, few other ones. But this fragrance was just unbelievable. I never smelled anything like it. And I still still think this is one of the most niche quality juice in the market if you love rose. Cartier Declaration Don Soir. Okay, this is my number one. I brought it back. And this one, since I started my journey every year, it's actually one of the most favorite in this list. It has rose. It has pink pepper. Really beautiful. It has, I think, sandalwood. And the fragrance, it's, uh, I think, not discontinued, but... Uh, try to get it before it does, okay? This is good for daytime, nighttime, excellent longevity, but if you want a little bit more push or you want, sorry, I'm going to get rich for another fragrance, which is its brother, uh, which I should also show. If you're looking for nighttime, if you want a little bit more longevity, a little bit more spices, less less freshness, you can also go with Declaration Don Soir Intense. So either way you go, either way you go, okay? Daytime, nighttime. Even daytime, you can wear this, but this is going to be very, very intense. So apply with caution. So both these fragrances are beautiful. Cartier Declaration Don Soir is my number one for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was actually a list worth watching. And uh, all the best. Have fun. And uh, stay loyal.
that's one thing i must say you know no point having uh, so many special days you know uh, if you cannot just make it to the next year okay that would be a shame have a nice day and thanks for watching i'll see you soon take care bye bye